algae, and lots of it. Yeah. Hmm. It's impossible to see where we're going now. Captain, look! Ahoy there, mateys. I can clean this windscreen in no time. Thank you. Thanks, me hearty. No problem. Algae is my favourite snack. Well, matey, it's lucky for us that you like this scurvy muck. Ah, you sound like a pirate. Ah, yeah, I am a pirate. Oh, I've always wanted to meet a real live pirate. My name's Parrotfish Pete. Ah. A parrot fish named Pete. Me grandfather Calico Jack had a parrot named Pete. Oh, Calico Jack, the famous pirate, was your grandfather? So you've heard of him? I, I'm a big fan of pirates. What be your name? I be Quasi. I could be your sidekick. Quasi and his trusty sidekick, Pete the parrot fish. Doesn't that sound great? Well... Pirates usually have parrots as sidekicks, not parrot fish. Well, I've got a beak like a parrot, but I'm even better than a parrot. Look, I can change me colours. Wow. Yeah, parrots can't do that. That's true. And parrots won't clean the algae off your windscreen either. That certainly was a big help. All right then, but we're in a hurry to find some treasure, matey. So you'll have to keep up. Whoa! My first day is a trusty pirate sidekick. And I get to search for treasure. <laughs> Let's go, Parrotfish Pete. What do you think these pointy things are? I wish I knew. I'll swim ahead and find out for you, mateys. This reef be full of sharp, jagged edges and narrow passageways. I think your ship is too big to fit through it. But according to the map, we have to go through it to find the treasure. Then we'll leave the gup here and swim the rest of the way. I wonder what these squiggly lines are. Are we going in there? What's that? And that! And that! Now we know what those squiggly lines on the map are. Eels! Aye, moray eels! These waters are full of them, matey! And look at their sharp teeth. Ah, oh, but we have to get past them to find the treasure. How are we going to do that? I can get us past them, me hearties. How? Moray eels like to eat parrotfish, but we have a way of protecting ourselves from them. Ah! First, I cover myself in a bubble. Ah. The eels can't see very well. And this bubble makes it so they can't smell me either. Which means they leave you alone. Very clever. That might be fine for you, but we can't make bubbles, me hearty. Oh, I'll make them for you. Octonauts, let's do this. can smell peso. Peso! This way. Astronauts! Wow. What pretty little fish. What kind are you? Oh, oh, oh these are humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. Humu nu nu kuku pupu water? No, humu humu nuku nuku apua'a. It's their Hawaiian name. Repeat after me. Humu humu. Humu humu. Nuku nuku. Nuku nuku. Apua. Apua. Ah. Ah. That's it. Now, just put it all together. Humu kuku pupu nu u wa a a a a. Ahem. Excuse me. Why don't you just call us humu humus for short? Oh. Right ho. Humu humu. Achoo! Oh, whoa! It's okay. I only sneezed. Humu humus get scared very easily, Peso. 
We need to be calm and quiet. Hello. My name's Peso. And I'm Shellington. Aloha. My name's Hank. Aloha, Hank. What can we do for you today? Um, we're here for a checkup. All right. Just open wide and say ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> There's Peso and Shellington. I'll show them a few of their moves. Chaps! Oh. No, no, that's not a shark. It's just my friend, Quasi. Oh. oh no, I forgot to close the octo hatch. Dashie, what's going on? Some kind of little fish are swimming into the octopod, Captain, and they're getting inside everything. Over here. Captain, this coral reef needs a full checkup. Agreed. Peso, you and Shellington check this side of the coral reef. Quasi, we'll take the other side. No sick coral on this side so far. Whoa, that's a lot of algae. We might as well collect some while we're here. Huh? Quasi? Captain, it's me old friend Parrotfish Pete. Hello, Pete. Uh, if you don't mind keeping your voices down, <laughs> I'm trying to sneak some algae. But why do you have to... Why do you have to sneak it? Because of those damselfish. Uh, they guard that algae as if it were a treasure chest full of gold mateys. Now, wish me luck. Here, keep off the algae. I just want my fair share. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, Scram, damselfish only. They had you outnumbered, matey. Aye, but at least I got away from the scurvy little nippers by squirting sand. Oh, there goes my pal, Sammy. Maybe she can get to the algae. Yikes! Talk to the spikes! You're right, Sammy. Oh, my spikes protected me, but I didn't get anything to eat, not even a nibble. Look out! Coming through! <laughs> Get it, boys. Hi, Robert! Hi, Pete! Hungry? Yep. I give up, but I'm still hungry. Yep. It seems like a lot of fish on this coral reef are hungry because they can't get past those damselfish to eat. Peso to Captain Barnacles. We found more sick coral on this side of the reef. Meet us back at the cup, Peso. Captain, I think there's a connection between the sick coral on the reef and those damselfish. Damselfish grow algae to eat, but when they don't let other fish eat it, there's too much algae. All that extra algae makes the reef sick. You see, Pete and his friends keep the algae from spreading too far. If they can just eat some of the extra algae, the sick coral reef will get better. Yes, but damselfish are very protective of the algae they grow. They'll never listen to other algae-eating fish like us. Don't worry, we'll talk to them for you. Excuse me, we'd like to talk to you damselfish about a problem on the coral reef. You got a problem? Talk to the boss. The boss? The one with the big spot on his face. Uh, a big spot? Sorry, I don't see a damselfish with a big spot. Oh, yes, 
damselfish can see colours we can't. If you want to see that big spot, you'll have to set your binoculars to... Damselfish vision. <laughs> what will Tweak think of next? Ah, that's better. Aha, the spot. Excuse me, are you the boss? Certainly I am. And keep off the algae. Right, um, we're the Octonauts, and we've discovered some trouble on this coral reef. <laughs> There's no trouble for us damselfish. We're sitting pretty with more algae than we can eat. Ain't that right, boys? Right, right boss. That is the trouble. Too much algae makes the coral reef sick. But you can save the coral reef if you'll just let some of the other fish eat some of the algae too. Forget about it. This is my algae farm, and I don't ever leave it. Now scram! Whoa, easy quasi. We'll scram. If the boss never leaves his algae farm, then he has no idea that the coral reef is sick. We need to get the boss off his farm. Why? But how? We're going to take his algae. Astronauts! Attention creatures, the ocean current is extra strong today, so please be careful and find a safe place to go. Do you need some help getting to safety? No, I'm moving. Should be there by Thursday. Here, let me help you. Oh, I'm early. Thanks, Octonauts. Ahoy, friend! Did you hear the warning? Can't understand you, matey. Why are you talking like that? All I heard was daddy, 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 bay. Can you speak a bit slower, please? I said, I'm Jimmy the Jarfish, and I'm going home to my burrow, which is right there, and my mouth is full of eggs! Oh, I dropped my eggs! That's Jerry, and Jojo. Oh, and little Janie. Looks just like a mother, go. Here, get this one. Last one. Find your eggs. Every last one of them. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the current has carried away ten of the jawfish's eggs. Our mission is to find them and return them to their father's mouth. Mouth? Why would anybody keep eggs in their mouth? Jawfish dads are mouth brooders, Tweak, which means that they protect their eggs by keeping them in their mouths until they hatch. Hey! The ocean can be a very dangerous place for a tiny egg. There are a lot of fish who might like to eat them. Then we'll have to find the eggs right away. Dashi, can you track the path of the current? Activating current tracker. The current has travelled along these cliffs, over these geysers and through this rocky trench. Then that's where we'll find the eggs. Here's the plan. Shellington, you stay with the jawfish at his burrow. Yes, Captain. Dashi, you stay here and keep track of the current. Quasi, Peso and I will split up and search for the eggs. <laughs> yes, Tunip, you can help look for the eggs too. <laughs> Tweak, those eggs are small and delicate. We'll need... Something to collect them in? I've got just the thing, Cap. Egg vax! These will suck the eggs right up and keep them safe until you get them back to the jawfish. I also changed your air tanks into special booster packs. Just press this button and you'll get a boost of speed to help you swim against the current. Good work. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Peso, you search along the cliffs. Got it. And Quasi, you search by the geezers. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll search the rocky trench. Octonauts, let's do this. Astronauts! Up for a little table tennis, Peso? Not now, Quasi. I'm helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike. But it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A 
porcupine Puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Yeah! <clears throat> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh, practicing my sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, the bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. <laughs> oh, my spike is starting to feel better. Thanks, Peso. Off you go then, Puffy. Bye bye. <laughs> There he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just a um, whale shark. Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours. Yeah! Oh no! Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Astronauts! There he is, Captain. Hang on, Peso. This could get a bit rocky. Something tells me that the X that marks the spot is right behind this now. Aha! The last one. Stand aside, you scurvy sword. Magic ye may be. But quick enough to catch this pirate? Never! Captain, I've lost sight of him. Looks like he's inside the kelp forest. Quasi! <gasps> Look! Quasi! <gasps> it's not Quasi! We've been chasing a figurehead. One that could only have come off a pirate ship. But then, where's Quasi? Ha-ha! <laughs> Outran him! <laughs> so, it's a duel you're wanting, is it? Then it's a duel ye shall have! Yuck! <laughs> hey! You're a swordfish! <laughs> of course I'm a swordfish! What did you think I was? <laughs> A magic flying sword? Yeah. Hmm. The only flying me and my fellow fish do is when we leap out of the ocean. So that was you! The light of the pirate moon made it look like it. Do I care what it looked like? No! What I do care about is uh, this is our feeding ground and we want you gone! Oh. I don't want your food! Matey, I want the sword of the Pirate King! And if you think I'm leaving without it, you don't know much about pirates! And uh, you, my friend, don't know much about swordfish, or you would think twice about fighting us. We live by the sword. We use it for swimming fast! Slashing at our food! And defending ourselves! Aha! Three against one, eh? Just the way I like it! We'll see about that! <laughs> Come and get me!
Quasi, activate Creature Report. Creature Report. <laughs> 